I got interested in the Sun Bears. Uh, actually, the Sun Bear chose me. You know, uh, it was back in 1994 when I first went to the States um, to study my undergraduate degree. And then in the first year, I met my going to be future uh, advisor, who was at the time looking for a Malaysian student to do a study on Sun Bears. The Bonin Sun Bear Conservation Center was found in. Uh, 2008. Currently, uh, our center has one hectare of forest enclosure, one bear house, and then the second bear house is under construction. And then we have an observation platform, and then we have a visitor center and an office building. The mission for the Sun Bear Conservation Center is to conserve sun bear through a holistic approach. We have identified four specific objectives. And the first one is improved animal welfare. Uh, that is to rescue all the captive uh, sun bears that we know of and then improve their uh, living condition. The second is to educate the public about the sun bear. The third one is research. Sun bear is still the least known bear in the world and we want to keep it up with our research and uh, in order to know more about this species. And finally, for those bears who still have the chance to go back into the wild, we want to give this captive bear a second chance to be able to live like a wild bear. Their life is very simple and the focus of a wild bear is pretty much food and then breeding seasons is sex or mate. Yeah? So typically day for a Sunday is that early in the morning the bears would start wake up from the night of sleep and then they will start foraging for termites, insects and then if they come across a fruiting tree they will gorge themselves as much as possible and then by about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock or so they will take a nap and then after an hour or two of resting they will start foraging in until evening where they try to find a place to spend the night and then uh, they will sleep through the night Compared to other bears across the world, sun bear is the smallest and also they are the most arboreal. They spend lots of time on trees and as you know they live in this tropical rainforest where uh, the forest is very tall, very dense, very diverse and then they try to explore and try to use every single uh, inches in the forest including the tree. And then on a the tree, they can do a lot of foraging on a tree, sleep on tree, make nests on tree, and so on. Sun bears are also uh, very special in terms of their physical character. Uh, their paw, for example, most other bears have this black leathery pad. For the sun bears, it's just like your hand and my hand. You know, it's a very pink color, thin skin, uh, naked paw, and I think that it help them have a good grip when they climb on tree. The three threats for the sun bears are deforestation and loss of habitat. Uh, second is uh, poaching for bear parts. And third is uh, pet trade, keeping sun bears as pets. Every time where the Sabah Wildlife Department heard there are somebody keep a sun bear, they would go and confiscate the sun bear and then and send to us, so we take care of them. When the f bears first arrive, depending on the age, we assess their health and then take blood sample, do measurements and do a throughout health, health check to make sure that there's nothing wrong with this bear, there's no uh, disease or sickness or this bear is healthy. Then typically we quarantine them for at least 30 days. After the quarantine period, we move them to our bear house where they can have contact to other bears by the side of the cage. The next process would be trying to integrate them into a group. Uh, depending on their sex, depending on their age, uh, we try to mix them in one group. Then they are let out at our forest enclosure. We let the bears out in our forest enclosure about 8.30 or 9 o'clock and then they are all housed in the bear house at about 4 o'clock when they were given their dinner. We all need to know that as a human being, we need forests to survive. Forests give us clean air, clean, clean water, stable climates, and lots of natural resources. 
The forest needs sun bears. Sun bears play very important roles in the forest ecosystem as seed dispersal, as forest doctor to keep the termite population in check and, and healthy equilibrium. The sun bears helps to create nesting site for many other wildlife species, so they are forest engineer. And then sun bears also help to enhance the soil nutrient cycle. Over the last 15 years, although there are some study on sun bears, we know some general ecology of sun bears. However, there are still some unknown questions that we need to answer desperately. Say for example, how many animals, how many sun bears are there in the wild? And then the other thing is that at various habitat types, we do not know how the bears use, say for example, a mangrove forest. Yeah, we still do not know how the bears use this forest fragmented by agriculture. We have very little information or so no idea on the mortality uh, rate of sun bears in the wild. And all of this answer are desperately needed for the conservation management of the species. Anybody can help us. The best way to help us is to help us spread the word. The second thing is to donation. Our centre needs funds to run. The bears need funds to feed them and take care of them. And then thirdly, uh, to be our volunteers. You know, we have a volunteer program and you can sign up to be our volunteers to help us work on the ground. <laughs>